Since we picked up Naf, I think the team is flowing more naturally, I guess. I think Naf has great intuition as a player, and he helps with uh, like mid gaming on CT and stuff like that. So he's a great addition so far. Oh, definitely. There's they can't even. There's no comparison. Everything is just working like so well. It's like we've perfectly meshed, and Naf is like flawlessly moved into the team. And it's just, it's awesome. If you look at the squad they have at the moment, I think logically this is somewhat set, but who's going to be the player who can elevate someone else's performance while themselves taking on a responsibility they can actually do? Before he was like super unmotivated and barely talked and he was just like a really quiet kid, but now I think he's been through like previous teams and his drive to win has went up an, an insanely amount. Um, he's just a completely different person too. Like, from what he was when he was like 17. He probably just turned like 17 when he was on my team. But yeah, he's completely different. He's, he's a really good player. But Naf, sit in the shower. Parkour from him. Has he got a lot of... I don't know, maybe. Like obviously, every time someone joins a new team, everyone like wants to give it time and all that, but uh, right when I joined the team, no practice, pretty much just went into, straight into CS Summit. Like I said in like some other interviews, I would always just say like I'm pretty well at just plugging in and out of teams. I don't know, I just go into events just thinking we're going to win. And we took first place, so I think everything went pretty well. Wait, where is he? Closed in jackets for the past 10 minutes. Russell. Russell. Let's see this jacket. Yeah, that's definitely the size. Right, I don't know how to use this thing without a stand. No. Ooh. That looks good. That looks good. Do you think it's not too short? No, not at all. No, it's good. Douglas, fucking right, mate. What if he actually sees it? What I don't meme? It what yeah. meme? No, no Douglas stuff. In there. I want... Maybe I wanted it for my personal collection. Oh, wait for me. Oh, wait for Dude, Naf threw fire in his interview. Wow. I think like Twist and Elise are better than all the players on Cloud9, so I think just bringing me on helps as well. So he did. Really? And it's for his front page on Reddit. Uh, I think Naf is one of the greatest players right now playing and uh, what he brings to the team is that uh, the calmness that he has on clutch situation and uh, when Mira play on this level counter strike that uh, is like so even and everyone is so good it's the details that matters the details that make the difference and uh, Naf brings that to us he brings the calmness during this those situation and uh, that's why we were playing like super good with him I guess like hearing all this stuff about me being like a top player right now like I don't know like a top five or whatever it's uh, nice, but then again, it's like it's just the start of the year, pretty much. In CS, the biggest thing is consistency and keeping up. So that's what I got to do for the rest of the year. Star Ladder, season four, here in Ukraine, sharing a room with this guy. Ah, the man, man, the man guy. And. Uh, Everyone's super jet lagged. I'm not. Lucas, why are you lying to the people? I'm not lying. But yeah, it's definitely starting to hit us uh, pretty hard. Ooh, you look beautiful, man. Thanks, man. I'm gonna become a model after a Counter Strike Dojo. You can be a Black Panther too. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm not smoking. This is air. Russell, how uh, how you feeling? I feel like I wish I got a fucking warning. <laughs> Damn. This is nice. Hey, we don't have to go to the gym anymore after this walk. <laughs> Watch your steps. Bro. Shut up, man. No, you Whoa. shut up. This is, this is where we're playing. This is pretty cool. 
Yo, Sasha, can we stay at your apartment? No. What? Not for you. What do you mean? I suck my dick. What do you mean? I don't want to suck your dick. Let me just stay there. You want to say anything nice to the you vlog? Think you're going to win this tournament? Yeah, of course. If you play like you just played, we're going to win all day. <laughs> So we had a shaky start, star ladder in the very beginning. We were like super out of it, like mentally, because we had just got there a day before and jet lag is very hard to deal with. As the uh, tournament progressed, which is a very long tournament, it was like a week or a half or something like that, um, it, like it was easy to deal with and we weren't as tired, obviously. And uh, because it's a new role, it's, I'm very excited. It just, the only way you can like get better at it is just keep practicing and practicing and that's what I'm doing. I've been watching demos and stuff of different operas and I'm trying to figure out like what kind of style I want to have and that way I can call around it and stuff like that. So um, it's just going to come with a lot of practice and you know in like two months, three months, hopefully I'm like a very good opera and I'll be consistently hitting those easy shots, which I think is the hardest part actually. But uh, yeah, and just, it just takes practice. Having Nitro, having Nick as an in-game lead is super good for me. Not only for the team, but especially for me because the way he like leads the team is super well because let's take an example. When he's like, uh, let's execute a strat, an execution, for example, he says what everyone is gonna do it. And I need that because of the like language barrel. Sometimes I'm, over, I'm overthinking, like even in Portuguese, in my mind, inside my mind, I'm thinking, what am I supposed to do? And uh, having an in-game leader like him, that uh, he comes to me and say, hey, still, you're gonna do this, you're gonna smoke there, you're gonna flash there, you're gonna like pick that place, you're gonna try to create space on that region. So having him as an in-game leader is super good for me, like playing on an international team and having to talk in English and have to speak in English. Yeah, sports have been looking on fire, and I mean, let's just quickly cover that which does extinguish fire, and that's of course liquid. Um, either way, let's get into this one. It's going to be Mouse Sports versus Liquid. Oscar Ruffs and Chris about to bust out of power. It's contact with him. He's holding strong. Nitro chimes in as well. This time, there's Twist one as well. Triple kill for a leash. That's Twist. They're going to be rushing all the way down. Drop Steel is looking into the ground. Doesn't want to get flashed out right on him. Good refract from Elyse, and he wants a bit more. Get the second kill. There's the headshot. Final bullet right onto Oscar to have a good first half here on. Over, oh, sorry, on Cobblestone. And there's the quad kill coming in. It's with drop zone against SK. Now that is a different caliber of team towards B, so they can't really take advantage of this. Big win from Twist with the UMP at range. Seconds here. Flashbang deep in the bomb site. Almost gets caught by Rock. Then Twist doing a remarkable job in this round. Just absolutely solid defense put up. Flashbanks streaming over for Team Liquid. And Oscar's trying to make their way up. They line up for Steel, a double kill for him. And even more flashbanks, another lineup. Four quil kills for Steel. Where they had Chris running in. He has the Galil. He's all the way down at Ivy now, looking for an opening. Oscar and Chris gonna get two in return for Nafi's kill on Sunny. And the timing is there. That's the bomb as well. He almost could have caught Chris and he's gonna take Naf instead. So the fact that he survived was big news here for Mouse Sports. And now he's in position. There's the headshot on Nitro. Chance, this is one of those 1v3s you can really win. Looking the wrong way though. He's up his position. They now know where he is. Peaks again. Can't find anything. UMP at that range, not as accurate as he'd like. And it's Naf up next. And he's already been pinned down by fire coming through the smoke. Let the sneak will find him just now. Deleted, and so is Twist. Steel with the shotgun. He's been great for Team Liquid. He's half the reason why they even get to this point of nine rounds, but he can't do anything there. Mouse Sports are going to be in the grand finals. So we just need to tighten up our game. It's as simple as that. All right? Take a rip, take a monster, beat a protein bar. Do whatever you need, but come back with energy next time. I don't want to see a stale. If we're having silence every time, it shows something's off. So if Nick is calling something, even if you're saying what you're just going to do, we have to say it. I'm going to smoke from here, I'm going to smoke from here. Okay, I'm going to flash for you. We have to do that because if we're just, oh, we're three out a rep, it's just that, there's no detail, there's no address yet. The pro team has to have detail in our tracks, all right? I wasn't a fan of third place deciders, but in this situation, the prize pool was like double, so it actually meant something like, it had value, I guess you could say, but for the spectators, I don't know, it was kind of tough. We delayed the final by like an hour and a half or something, which was kind of not funny at the same time for the spectators because it was very late. I think the final ended at like 12.30 or something. 
So the star ladder was good for us. I mean, uh, of course, we didn't win the tournament, which was the best option for sure. But uh, we did good. We beat uh, good teams on the tournament. Uh, I am expecting like good results for us. Even though that uh, we do not win the tournament, I want to do like good matches against good teams. At least me, I am feeling confident with my team. That's what matters. Hello, guys. So this is the end of the video. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's the worst ending ever. <laughs> Ukraine, day three. Look at these beautiful guys ready to go. Super early first match of the day. Dude, that's oh, so man, weird. Man. It's like Inception. You can't tell it's like a reflection, really. And then, is it in a dream? Dude, Inception reflection. This elevator is amazing. You know the song. Lucas looks like such a sophisticated guy. Why do you mean by look like I am? You're probably the only black guy in the country. Why were you last night? It smells like a big fart from snakes. Smells. <laughs> 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 really, you cannot eat that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try. No, no, no. It's like it's like shit plates. We just call them bolts. <laughs> Budget bolts. <laughs> Your bolts. Half bolts. I mean, he doesn't look like bolts, does he? Just wait, let me put on a few pounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll walk to the venue in like this blizzard. Where's the rest of the guys? Here they go. <laughs> I think everyone's just loving life right now. Uh, look. <gasps> There's no respawns in RL, John. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Do you actually? Tom's diner. Oh my god. Here's <laughs> <laughs> the thing to think about. Liquid is the team that has the most to gain from this exact match we're about to play now. Because if they beat FaZe now, think of the run they've had at the last two tournaments. They'll have beaten SK Gaming twice. I think our map will kind of change between uh, Summit and Starlighter because we didn't feel that good on some maps, but we made it Pass groups, played stage, beat SK2-0, stay positive, be happy as a team, and just make sure we don't mess up our videos. Snipe somebody long range with the USP, they're rushing straight into the hot and out to the A site. Already getting locked out of it, Swift, ridiculously, four headshots. Quad kill for him, looking for the pistol, and four headshots, he's gonna get it. And jumping through the smoke. That you don't have to give your life to defend Ram. You they can just run by. Yeah, people just sort of. That's the kind of stuff you want to see on the defense. Closing the door like a gentleman. But all of us still killed him. Now they're rushing out of squeak, and there was no one to stop them, even though there could have been. Bit of a misstep. You did spot the one player, but as he walks around the corner, there's going to be two. Cool to win any of those fights. Terrorists win. Rap side to see who's going to jump up. He's going to be blocked off by Smoke because I'm carrying a double. through it. No one to follow up. He kills for seal make it a third. Just giving him gifts. Nice. Bit be a good setup for a flashbang here, making it a little bit hard for them to get into the bomb site. Right in their eyes is the leash. Keep stands the kind of defense you just love to see. They're uncomfortable with the AWP walking into the site. Well, they almost line up. That's a good shot. Could have been nearly a triple. I feel like Nitro doing work. Guardian one versus three. You're gonna be Ooh. turning around. How does that still happen? <laughs> I have no idea what Nitro just did. Nitro up towards the A-bomb site. They're gonna keep doing this twist. We'll get one more headshot. There he is with a double looking for the triple. He's such a good pistol player. And that's gonna leave Guardian in the open. One versus two. Twist will take him down. That they are that they're not able to put some of these rounds together in a more reasonable way, which is not what we're used to seeing out of phase. It's not like this is a thing that sort of you know happens again and again. I just feel like it's been plaguing them in today's match. Guardian gets the bomb plant. I think that's kind of the cool part of it, of these games for, for Team Liquid is, yeah, there's the turnaround. This is such a strange round. Now it's all over the one versus two. He was having a fight with Naf in the back, and now one headshot. Elise will take him down, and it's 16 to four, as Team Liquid managed to take down FaZe in three maps. 
beating phase uh, uh we kind of like demolished them on two maps and then we kind of choked the inferno match it was i don't know it was yeah, like it obviously was special because we beat phase but then again it was like a third place decider so obviously maybe the energy wasn't fully there on both sides but although like uh, we got third like we beat like pretty good teams like we beat uh, SK we beat FaZe and we beat Mouse Sports in a BO3 unfortunately they beat us in the latest BO3 but yeah overall I think it was pretty well for the teams we played. It was a very fun match for us it was honestly like probably one of the most fun matches the Inferno match was it was like so many different mind games going on between me and Kerrigan just like trying to switch up our one strat that we had on A it was I don't know it was really fun but took the W, so, yeah. It was the most best of threes ever played at one event. Obviously, the expectation was to make top four, and we passed that pretty easily, so it's a good feeling.